What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel, A Journey to the Fitness. Um, this is not my weekly video that I do on Sunday. That'll be coming later on tonight. Um, but this video is about something that I actually ran into this week. And um, I'm going to explain something. Because it's something that a lot of people were going to say, well, you did this wrong or you did this right. And there's a, there's a big controversy. And I haven't ran into this issue in a really long time. Um, I'm okay with running into it. But I haven't run into this issue in a really long time, so I figured I'd make a video about it. And that is the fact of uh, overtraining. Did I overtrain this week? Um, I'm going to explain why I bring this up. So, this week, uh, Friday, I did two workouts back-to-back. -back. I did arm day with my training partner, and then when he left, I did my back day. Because I asked him what he wanted to train. And he had some muscle groups that were not what I had for the week to finish. So I was like, well, I'll do arm day with you. And then when you leave, I'll do back day. I didn't work on Saturday. So I could spend some time in the gym. I said, all right, let's do that. So I did arm day with him. We went heavy. You know, we did our, I mean, my arms were pretty much dead by the end of the workout. Um, and then I went pretty much right into back day. Um. So, uh, fast forward to Saturday, I'm sorry, I've got so much in my head I want to say, but a fast forward to Saturday was leg day, was my leg day. Now, I was going to take that day off because I really, really felt like uh, trash because my whole, you know, nervous system was just fried, um, especially partly because I do deadlifts on back day and on Leg day. I like deadlifts. I know that's probably not good, but I like deadlifts. So I'm going to do them. But uh, anyway, so I couldn't deadlift. I couldn't squat on Saturday. Um, my form kept breaking down. And a lot of people would say, well, you overtrained. A lot of people would say, well, go home. Well, I didn't do that. <laughs> what I did was I switched to machines. Um, and I'm going to explain why I did this. So part of me just wanted to go home and said, well, no, workout's not going to work today. Just go home. So then I thought about it and I started and I did, uh, I, I ended up doing like leg press, which I don't do that often. Um, I did um, uh, leg extensions and leg curls. Um, the, it, the adductor, abductor machine, I did body weight squats, I did some martial arts kick drills, I did a bunch of body weight stuff that pretty much took my back out of the equation, um, and I was able to get in a really good workout, and so this is why I say I didn't overtrain, and this is why the people that say you overtrained, I disagree with a lot of them. Now, can you overtrain if you're not eating or, or, or resting enough? And that's what I did. Um, the reason I went Saturday and didn't take it off was because my fiance is trying to do a weight lift, weight loss goal. And uh, she made, told me that uh, if I wasn't going to go, she wasn't going to go. So I was like, all right, well, then I'm going because I want you to be consistent because consistency is where you're going to see your results. So anything that I can do that's going to motivate her to get to the gym more often. Um, not that she has to work out for two three hours or whatever. But anything that I can get her to get to the gym more. I will happily do. Uh, because I want her to see results. I want her to reach her goals. So if me going even when I feel like crap motivates her. Pff, let's go. I could not squat. I could not deadlift that day. As I already said. Um, but here's the thing. So many people get caught up with, oh, well, I should just go home. Change the mode of what you're training. Find a way around it. If your back hurts, don't use your back. If your legs hurt, don't use your legs. There are different machines. There are, so, there are cables. There are so many different things that you can use when a muscle group is hurt. Let that muscle group relax, chill out, but still get active. So, like I said, yesterday I stopped my, you know, uh, my heavy, my heavier stuff that I, I uh, 
normally do and went to machines. When I got home, I relaxed. I ended up doing yoga. Uh, today, I uh, went to the gym. I actually, that's why I'm getting home late. Um, and I hit my legs. I did squats. I did deadlifts. And I was fine. Back doesn't hurt at all. Back nothing. So a lot of this, did I overtrain? I don't think so. Because I think I just under-recovered. Which is fine. If you are under under recovering, you might want to find some ways to fix that. Like I did. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get both eyes in this camera. That's why I'm tilting here. I should probably hold it here for the light. But anyway, that's my video. It's just, look, I don't believe in overtraining. Because I believe there's always something you can do. There are so many different things you can train. You can train for power, explosion. You can go slow reps. You can do... You know, more cardio-based stuff, which high reps, um, explosive high reps. You can do, you can run on a treadmill. You, If a muscle group hurts, let it rest, but don't let it stop you from training. Because there are so many different things that you can do that not train, not, it, it's not an excuse to not train. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much my video because I could go on for a long time for this because it's something that um, I haven't run into it in a while, but it's something that I preach is that you can't overtrain. So anyway, guys, peace.